are going to dive into the world of culture and science. The time was 550 AD, also known as the Golden Age, which was when culture was on the peak of the land. Over here, you can see the tall walls of their old city, and many advances were made that shaped their and and our modern day. As we walk through their civilization, we will see all about the life they conducted. Here you can see the advances in science, such as astronomy, mathematics, and medicine. Hipparchus developed trigonometry, and although his books or writings aren't used in modern day, they influenced the field of mathematics. Here, you, you can see Abu Raja creating his round earth theory, which most of us still believe today. Lastly, the discovery of iron and mercury radically changed the field of medicine to this day. Doctors during this time even started experimenting with, with procedures or operations on people when it was necessary. Not only were there advances in science, but there was also many advances in literature. Let's go take a look. Oh, I can see you there. As you can see, poetry and romantic comedies were very popular in this time. There were nine main poets, and the supreme poet was named Kishan. His writings were all in Sanskrit, and he believed more on human behavior than in religious belief. As we continue, you, you, you will see the land and the Tuskila. These were the two most popular universities and were taught by specific instructors, but primarily education was, was taught by regular people. Women and men were both offered the same opportunities for education and the standard for, for, for these universities were so high and that attracted people from, from places like China and Persia to attend. Once the Gupta Empire decided traveling and trading by sea, they, they discovered that the sea was no longer dangerous, so they started trading through the Mediterranean. Trading through the Mediterranean uh, and the Silk Road expanded the culture and beliefs of India to the Gupta Empire and vice versa. As trading continued, the empire became the perfect place for tolerance and acceptance. And the Mediterranean Sea is also good for, for swimming. Wait, no it's not. <laughs>